by the sound of a WWE event these days. I'm Chris Wolver, the wrestling vlogger who always tells it like it is. <music> Greatest wrestling match of all time? No. Greatest wrestling match of the last 10 years? Yeah, sure, I'll buy that. Seriously, Edge and Randy Orton went all out for this match in trying to live up to its hype. I mean, fighting for over three quarters of an hour, probably even longer, given some of the camera angles. Yeah, yeah, some, some of them I could have done without, truthfully. But in any case, these two legends put on one hell of a show. But what I liked about the match was not just the match itself. I did think it was cool to have archive footage of Howard Finkel announce the belligerence in the match. The MSG microphone was pretty cool too. But what was the most cool, in my opinion, was piping in actual sound noises during the match. Now, I don't know if they set, piped it in live in the Performance Center or if they put it in during post-production, but it really added something to the match. Now, truth be told, normally I put matches on mute. Uh, I don't know, probably because I miss the older announced teams like Ross and Lawler or, hell, even McMahon and Ventura. But these, these guys are all right, but uh, just not up to my snuff. But I had the sound up for this match, and, it, and the crowd noise helped the match immensely. Even though it was probably staged, still helped. Which brings up the question on everyone's lips, especially those still with stock in WWE. When will real crowds be allowed in? Well, a week or two ago, a rabid WWE fan took a picture in front of Full Sail University and begged Triple H on Twitter to let him and any other fans in. They really wanted to go back to seeing their fave NXT superstars live and in person. Triple H tweeted a one-word reply. Soon. Last week, the WWE expressed the option of opening up both Full Sail and the Performance Center to a limited number of fans. It would go through some testing, like at other businesses, such as an assessment of their health and a temperature check, and would be asked, stringently, I'm sure, to keep proper social distancing. Ultimately, they were hoping to actually have arena shows around August, depending on how the reopenings are doing across the country. But recent news in the coronavirus may have put a halt on things. See, on Monday, one of the developmental stars who was in the crowd for a taping tested positive for COVID-19. This led to a suspension of taping for SmackDown until everyone got properly tested. Uh, no other superstars have tested positive yet, as far as I know. But it does raise the question of whether or not even Evolve or NXT superstars should be in the crowd. Never mind actual fans. And in case you missed it, Florida is having its worst bout of COVID-19 since the whole pandemic began. Record high new daily cases almost every day. Not to mention that the commissioner of the county the Performance Center is in issued an executive order stating that all people in the county must wear face masks in public. If the NXT folks go back to being the crowd, it might not look good in the camera to see everyone covering their faces. PR-wise, anyway. But why didn't they learn something from the greatest match last week? Instead of crowds of developmental talent, why not pipe in crowd noise from other shows before the pandemic began? I mean, hell, you're just taping shows anyway, so it shouldn't be such a burden, I think. Have a soundboard app to pump up the cheering for faces and enact boos for heels? Throw in a chant like, yes, yes, or NXT, or holy sh... You get the idea. I mean, let's face it, it's... Not only, it would not only be a better viewing experience for the t TV audience, but it will prevent further cases from breaking out, and maybe some of the superstars won't start feeling unsafe, like Kevin Owens. Come on, WWE, if 
You have the technology to weave 45 minutes of crowd noise into a commercial-free match on a pay-per-view. Certainly you have the talent to do that for a show that's two or three hours with commercials. The crowds you have now are just not cutting it, and they're not even getting paid to do it, so they have no motivation. Forget about bringing fans in for a good while, well, thanks to the uptick in cases in the state. Have the crowds of the past be the voice of the TV watchers of the present. And uh, if you don't think you can pull it off, give me a week or so with Premiere Pro on a soundboard to learn, and... I can probably do it for you. I can pick things up pretty fast if I wanna. I'm Chris Wover, the wrestling vlogger who always tells it like it is. Stay safe, and I'll see you.